So here's my Husqvarna. I got this model here, seven years old. Uh, yesterday I noticed it was uh, cutting awkwardly. So I look down and I see my fender is r um, barely just about rubbing on the tire. So I pulled it into the garage and stopped for the evening. But today pulled it, picked it up, looked under here and look at this mount that is supposed to be clearly connected to that spot right there, whatever this unit is here and it ripped out and uh, I have one acre yard with uh, <laughs> not much terrain. So for this to happen after seven years is complete garbage that that snapped off and I have no idea what it's gonna take to fix, but most likely I will not be fixing this. I've been losing power as well in this unit and not sure why, but this is ridiculous, ridiculous. All right, so this is a follow-up video to the where I saw the break um, for the bracket in the transmission and uh, had a buddy come over and we looked at it and I had thought, now I got the tire back on and there's some new bolts here and I'll show you the other side. I had thought that that, um, let's get under here. Let's see. I thought that bracket, right? It's there, it sheared off, right? And, and you saw that in my video there a little bit earlier part. Um, but that was just, that was holding, I would say that's a support bracket, not holding all the weight. Because once my buddy looked at it, we saw, and on this side you'll see it, um, that support bracket, of course, is still in place on the right side, which is not the broken side. But what I noticed was, was, this, there's two weld spots here on both sides. The weld spots on this side broke and this whole bracket shifted forward, which caused my tractor to be, everything was off. And so this bracket was taking the weight of everything for a, you know, a bit of time until this actually gave way. So what I did was, um, and if I added a bolt on this side as well, so you might want to think about that. I just reinforced these two weld spots because there was nothing supporting these welds. Um, I don't know if these two will give out like the other side, but I added a, there's already a pre-drilled hole in my Husqvarna. So I added a bolt there. So you'll see, um, you can see I added, I had to use the long bolt as a kind of, <laughs> we used our, we pulled it and uh, you know, pried it and got a screwdriver in the hole and pried it back further. But this is the real, uh, so we got the, and you, oh, you can't see it, but the weld spots are actually back, uh, lined up where they should be. And now my tractor has the clearance again, and it's cutting, uh, like it should be and not rubbing. This fender's not rubbing here anymore. So I got lucky with that. Just that it was a weld break and I'm not even fixing that support, um, that bar that's broken, it's just going to stay broken, and this one will will be good on this side. But I wanted to show you how I fixed it since I was complaining the first part of the video on that. And, you know, my tractor store where I bought it from said I need a whole new transmission for 850 and I, don't know, I wasn't doing that. Good luck.